Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okwe. If you join us for the first time, welcome, welcome. Like some few weeks ago, I took a poll on my Insta story. If I can find it, I'll insert it here. I'll insert the result here. I took a poll on my Insta story and people wanted to know what was in my kit and how I've built my kit over the years and what my kit consists of. So I have decided to record a video showing you guys what's in my kit and telling you basically how i've built my kit over the years so that is what this video is about i've been doing makeup professionally for three years and i've basically been in makeup dabbling here and there for eight years well actually nine years now that was eight years was last year nine years now this kit is all i have acquired over the years like let's just see well obviously i don't have 10 year old makeup because that's just nasty that's that's expired already <laughs> But this is what I have acquired over the years. I didn't just go out and set out to buy a whole makeup kit that is this huge. Except if you have like or your maybe or your Omo Baba or something of such nature. Or you have one person that's dashing you money. If not, you're just going to put yourself in a serious basic. Basic means debt. You're not in any pressure, shape or form. Let me put that out there to build this kind of kit right i'm just telling you how i've built mine and what my kit consists of right my kit is made up of things that i bought with my own money obviously things that was given to me and things that was sent to me for pr by brands do you understand that is how i've built this large kit so you're not under any pressure to go out and get this kind of thing i'm just telling you what has worked for me what is working for me right now so that you guys can basically know how you can maybe shuttle things or change things the makeup that is in my kit is not even half of what i own like makeup wise right because that's just insane I, there's no way i can carry everything so i leave some in the studio and i keep them in i have several shelves and i also use those um clear acrylic boxes those makeup boxes that you see on youtube and instagram yeah i have those and that's why i keep excess makeup every six months i try to do an audition for my kit basically i call it an audition because i go through my kits from my brow pencils well from pencils to eyeshadows to powders to foundations lipsticks most especially lipsticks and i remove things that i haven't used in like three months and i replace it with maybe newer things or something colors that i would rather have and if i have two of each color i remove it and add it to the kit the acrylic cases in the in the studio the best thing you can do for yourself as a makeup artist is to do audition for your kids number one you have to also check that your products you're using are not expired because yes makeup products expire as much as you want to hold on to them maximum two to three years you have to let go and get new ones that's just the truth let me just put that out there your makeup actually expires uh, my sister has written a blog post about how to check for your expired products i'm going to put the link in the description box so read that thing check for the signs that she has put in that blog post and she has pictures of products that she has that has expired i think you should check it so that you can know what has expired you don't want to go and put things that have expired on your client's face you are gonna get sued or else they're not going to call you back you don't want to lose your clients girl so oh boy as the case may be so make sure you do addition for your kids also there are things that you're holding on to that you have not used in the past six months yes yeah, six months i am i i hold things a lot especially my kids i'm like one day i'm going to need this color one day i'm going to use this color and i never use it that's just the basic truth remove them and replace them or remove them and so that your kids can be lighter you'll be surprised how much junk you carry the lipsticks that you have like 10 reds remove it give yourself space to breathe allow more things when you're holding you don't get to have more things so spread it out remove more things i need to take my own advice by the way gosh but then that's just the truth it's it might not be feasible for you to have i'm going to show you guys my kit and how big it is it might not be feasible for you to have this kind of big kit because number one it's too heavy if you walk alone it's definitely not feasible for you if you're not mobile meaning if you don't have a car it's definitely not feasible for you like it doesn't make any sense i have a team that works with me so we kind of like it's easier for us to move things you get so if you know that you're going to be carrying things like if you get your clients you first go to the car bring one box go to the car bring ring lights go to the car bring girl you're just gonna kill yourself all right and one thing that i am not ashamed of is to ask for help in carrying my kits whether i'm going with my team whether i'm going alone 
all you have to do is hi please do you mind helping me ask for help because you're just gonna break your back girl because the fact that you're going to be standing for the next two to three hours or even more I always tell my kids my my team sit down when you see me sitting down just rest when you see me resting because you don't want to kill yourself that's just the truth if you find someone a man me i don't even care me i don't look at switches face if i get to your house and i need help you're going to help me because it's you that call me and i have clothes so what do you expect to just carry it on top of my head or what ask for help you will see one man standing the gate man the driver the brother the uncle the groom as the case may be anybody uh, even the bride say if she's not the auntie, she should carry the box <laughs> don't ask your bride to carry the box i'm just joking but then find help always get help to lift your boxes if you feel it's too heavy for you find help please find help another thing is that i do not pack lightly let me just put it out there i'm not the one that you see me with one small handbag and i'll tell you i'm going to go and do makeup no i can't if i'm not seeing the possibility of what i can create i'm not really happy apart from that I have been in several situations where I park lightly and I get to the client's place and I get another client that is most probably going to be a totally different shade so you can't even use your client's foundation on her. I have had the birthday event and I went there and I ended up doing three extra people, one extremely light skinned person. So imagine if I had parked lightly for my clients like oh I'm just going there to go and do my client's makeup and you would get there and then you're having three clients and they're like sister will you do our makeup and you're like I don't have your color or foundation could make sense jiggers so i do not pack lightly in any shape or form i can go for a shoot and i meet a model there and i want to do a makeup i want to have every possible outcome if i'm going bridal if i'm going editorial if i'm going beauty i want to be able to have options you get so i do not pack lightly i carry my kit at all times except if i know that i am sure i am doing even when i'm sure i'm doing one person's makeup only when i know okay the only time i ever pack lightly is when i'm working alone so there are times where maybe i have a client by 5 a.m and my assistant isn't able to be there to assist me i just pack a day before i just pack something like okay. but if i know that i am going to have help i do not pack lightly let's just put that out there i use this huge box because i have tried several makeup boxes like i invested in a lot of makeup boxes and they end up tearing they end up just not working for me do you guess i have a lot of makeup and every time i try those regular makeup boxes it doesn't work even the ones the, those ones that have um pull out trolleys the ones that have inside everything i have I have them that they're literally sitting in my studio doing nothing and I found out that this is the best way to pack for me this is the most efficient way to pack for me if you cannot afford to pack like this please buy your regular makeup boxes the normal ones if you have the money to buy a suitcase please do suitcases I feel like are the most efficient for me why because it helps me to see everything I'm carrying I just put everything in pouches I'll show you the pouches later on I put everything in pouches and everything is segmented i don't i'm not confused about anything you get everything is where i can see it i know where my powders are i know where my lipsticks are i know everything you get those regular makeup boxes do not work i will show, i'll put i will insert two pictures basically of what of makeup kits that i have used and they currently do not work for me i have invested a lot of money i even bought one over almost 200 dollars over over 200 dollars and I, i'm not using it currently suitcases if you if you have the money please save all the money you're using to buy makeup boxes year after year every six months every eight eight months and just invest in a good durable suitcase when i mean suitcase i mean traveling bag normal suitcase that you're using to travel abroad yes those suitcases invest in it and know that you're done so in my kit i have most of my most precious brands and most precious most tested yes i'm using most very very seriously like these are brands that i have actually tested and trusted and i have loved over the years those are the only things i keep in my kit i do not waste my money okay actually there are some things that i buy on impulse or i follow trends and i found out that they don't work for me and i just is it i give them away give it to my friend my sister wherever or i just keep them at the studio for practice for my students or my interns and stuff like that so yeah that is what i do with brands with, with most, most makeup that do not make it into my kit and there's some makeup that i really really like but they are not kit friendly so there are some makeups that maybe the palettes are just too large or something i just keep those ones too in the kit in the studio i use them for shoots or i allow my students to use them my interns to create looks and stuff like that there's some things that i buy in twos that's why i keep one in my in my studio and one in my kit 
like things that maybe i'm scared that it will go out of stock like my gloss balm fancy gloss balm that i've still not gone out of stock since 90 book borrow um i don't know why i bought two but yeah i bought two of it and i have extra i have so many things i actually buy two of maybe because it's actually not accessible in nigeria so when i travel i just buy them like okay one is done i have extra i'm not about to like go and start paying somebody to times two the price in nigeria to get it to me no so things like that i buy two and i keep them in the shelf in the studio if you found out that one box does not work for you carry two boxes but me right now at the point that i'm in this one huge box can size all my makeup at least the ones that i know i need without doing ojukokoro to carry extra this one huge box can size everything i need right now this is my kit basically i have seven of these pouches right now actually eight plus this nine but then i have this this is a very see my hand imagine how big this thing is i have i get my pouches from two brands basically so i get them from unicorn pouches unicorn pouches are the ones i use now currently so unicorn pouches and then you can see this this is b by ensure so i'm going to leave their handles in the description box I get this one I, I i have just one b by ensure if your eyeshadow is inside here just know that i love it very 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 much because i have loads of eyeshadows in the studio that i do not even i can't even be bothered with right it's not like i don't use them it's just it might not just fit into what i want in my kit currently so this is my perception palette you guys know this palette i love it. it is one of my favorite palettes so i can't do without it to be honest i really enjoy this palette this is my blood trailblazer palette this is the neutral one so this comes in singles and then you can build it into any this thing you want so I, this is my the colorful one so i love this palette very super pigmented this is my makeup revolution you guys know this palette i love it it's super pigmented and it's inexpensive i have my take me to brazil by bh cosmetics if i was to choose one eyeshadow that i'm going to use forever and ever is going to be this palette <laughs> this is my lime crime venus you guys i love this eyeshadow palette this is lime crime venus one i love it i'm obsessed my the one i'm currently obsessed with right now is my um rose gold remastered Uda beauty i'm obsessed i love it like then i have my juvia's place you guys already know this palette i have my nuban beauty see i have palettes here that i am obsessed with so and these pouches are not expensive at all i think the largest one that is like freaking humongous is like five thousand naira, and that one will size everything you need this is not even the largest this is the largest i don't even know i'm going to show you guys okay so this is the largest right and this is the semi large can you see so this is the beginning of the large and this is the largest can you see extra space this is my powder bag this thing is large see where my hand is like this is my palm size like it is huge if you just have three of these in your kit for like an upcoming artist i feel like you already have a lot like that's already enough this is my blush palette my zikel powder palette I like it because when I'm working on like a, a loads of people at the same time, like bridesmaids, um, models and stuff, this thing comes in very handy because it has like lots of shades in one, blushes, highlighter. I don't have to start searching for what's your shade in my kit and moving up and down, catching the whole place. So that always works for me. Let me just tilt my box sideways. Uh, so, yeah, my jabo. So these are my setting powders. I have Beauty by AD, Sasha Buttercup, Black Opal, my um, High Guy Anesta, my Danessa Myrix, several highlighters, my contour kits, um, loose highlighters from Younger Beauty, Colourpop powders, Ma my MAC powders. I have Iman Beauty. I have every Makeup Revolution. Anything you can think of is right here. I have Milani. I have a lot to be honest. I don't even, I'm, I'm out of breath calling all my powders. Highlighters and everything. I have both loose highlighters, pressed highlighters. So that's the powder bag. My powder bag is actually one of my largest bags. My powder bag and my skin prep bag is my largest because those are the things I do not compromise on. This is my lip bag. So you guys can see. I have if not more than a hundred lipsticks in this place. I'm pretty sure it's more than a hundred like it is a lot like it's heavy you don't understand and this one is by B by ensure those other two are from um, unicorn pouches one thing I do audition for a lot and I hold a lot is lipsticks 
I cannot just bring myself to just drop it, but I try my best. There are lipsticks here that are like duplicates of each other, but then I just cannot drop them. <laughs> so I just, you, I just oiled it. I think I have lipstick by every brand, at least most brands that are like super popular. So from Nigerian brands, I have lipstick by um, Beauty by AD, Omari Code, I have Blood Cosmetics, I have Teos, Elma, Yanga Beauty, EA Beauty, Zaron. So this is my Nuban lipstick. This is my Ruby Light. This is one of my favorite shades. It's like this coral nude. This is my MAC clay gloss. Nothing like this clay gloss to be honest. Very thick and it's non-sticky. For international brands, I have Iman, um, Lancome, Lime Crime, Colored Rain, NYX new look one thing i get a lot right is lipstick and lashes nigerian brands lipstick and lashes they're obsessed <laughs> so let me just not start if i continue to mention the names of these lipsticks we will not live here we'll just continue to live here so ah did you just see my rhyme we'll not live here we'll just continue to live here ah okay let me just add rapper to my bio or oh, lyricist <laughs> Up next is my glitter bag. So this has my glitters, pigments, loose pigments, liquid pigments, liquid glitters, eyeshadow primer, liquid eyeshadows. These are wet and wild liquid. Let me try and swatch it for you guys. Can you see? So nice. It's like a dupe for this. This one of it is $24. This is the still liquid eyeshadow like liquid glitter and this was like i think like three four five dollars max right i really can't remember how much i got it i have glitters from ea beauty yanga beauty i have pigments from inglots all my gel liners from zaron colored gel liners i have my mixing medium stuff from ega and Esther and my dura line basically everything i use for glitter and pigments is here so here's the dirty bag because i cannot keep cleaning it even face is tired of cleaning itself. We have just agreed that's why I'm gonna leave it like this. So up next is my foundation bag. This is also the a large one, but it's not as large as my face prep bag because my foundations I try to depot them, and the ones that I don't depot, they are not so big. Any bottle that is too any bottle that is too big or too heavy, that's one thing you need to learn too. If you buy foundations and you see that the bottle itself is too heavy, just depot it into plastics or into little i'll show you into this little stuff they sell it on aliexpress so you can buy it and depot your foundations inside these things right they would definitely help you my foundations are inside this or these plastics these are my mac foundation because mac bottles are super heavy so i buy these bottles can you see them plastic bottles and i put my foundations in it so for my foundations these are products that i do not compromise on I take my foundations very seriously. I don't think I can go somewhere and I won't have the person's shade no matter how dark or how light skin you get. So I have foundations ranging from both Nigerians, high end, low end, if there's anything like that, drugstore, whatever. I have foundations. So this is a Nigerian brand, Flawless Ivy. This is Zikel, Zaron, Ega and Esther. This is one of my mentors. Uh, makeup line. This is Danessa Marix. My drugstore. I love this foundation and it's really matte and cheap. Revlon. The sticker is on it. So I have MAC foundations. I rarely use my MAC foundations anymore. So stick foundations by Black Opal. L'Oreal True Match. Oh, this is one of my favorite foundations ever. This is one of the darkest foundations. If you're looking for a dark foundation for your kids, this is amazing. Dark Chocolate by LA Girl. It's one of the darkest foundations I own. I have several colors from this different brands. I have Milani. They have stick foundations by Makeup Revolution. I have this foundation by Technique. This is one of the darkest foundations. It's even darker than the one I showed you. It's in the shade Espresso. It's super black. Like this is black. It's not even dark. It's black. Because I get to work on models a lot. And there are some models that are like, oh, they are so chocolatey. You don't want to use anything that is dark um, light on them. So. So, on to the last huge bag. This is my face prep bag. This bag is huge. So this is my face prep bag. This has all my primers, illuminators, setting sprays, primer sprays, mattifier, glow sprays, body glow, body oil, things like that. Everything is inside here. This is a bag that I really take pride in because your face prep is very, very important very very i cannot over 
exaggerate sabi expatiate whatever so this is my micellar water this is by nigerian brand actually she just sent me this and it's amazing i reviewed it on my insta story and if you check my uh, highlights on my page under pr and reviews you see demo on this thing this is amazing makeup remover and it's not expensive i'm not sure of the price but then i'll ask at the price and add it to this video it helps you remove your makeup and the bottle is so cute i have my mac spray yes it's fixed plus i was the one that added some stuff in, inside it then this is my um tm essentials their glow spray so i have setting spray from absolute this is a dewy spray i have from zaron this is cetaphil oil control moisturizer for acne prone skin so if you have oily skin this is a very good moisturizer for you yes i keep soap in my in my kit this is basically for shoots and editorial looks fenty beauty primer sprays by o m glow this is one of my favorite sprays before everybody started doing glow spray yeah she was already there okay so, so this is by nigerian brand this is by nia nia cosmetics she sent me this this is a setting spray she has both matte and dewy but i only put the matte here because i already have this dewy spray by tm um tm essentials this is a dupe for um max fix plus i already explained this to you guys before in one of my videos because this is my setting spray that i use for brides this thing keeps your makeup all day long scandinavia i think it's about 30 dollars yeah this is meron it has already moved this is my sweat proof i also use it for brides or people that are going to have like really long day so this is what i use for them it has moved away from it i spoke about it in my chit chat video on to illuminators overall this is by danessa marix this is our illuminating veil this cute bottle here this is by number seven they sell it in boots wet and wild this one is so cute and very very pigmented too this is by nigerian brand elma beauty it's really glittery it's good for your shoulders and stuff then i also obviously have the um this ones i have two shades i have three actually but i put just two shades in the kit this is also a liquid glow oil by tm essentials you can see i have quite a number of tm essentials products she always comes through with the pr and she's so nice i always try to use her stuff so primers the primers in here are my favorites and i use them depending on what i am going for basically so this is my number seven they don't make this primer anymore this number seven primer but then they make something different now also a mattifying primer but it doesn't come in this white case zikel i use zikel on models most most times when i have shoots and stuff and i don't want to use the really high-end stuff i use zikel and it's really good it's very mattifying too um this is my smashbox i love this one for people that have large pores i have large pores so this is it really it helps you like feel it fills up the pores and it gives you like a smooth finish becca if you want to buy a primer you want to just save and buy an expensive primer this is it's becca this thing is like magic no matter how much your client is sweating the makeup stays on all day all day guys this primer na jazz so yeah i have my oil you guys know i reviewed this oil on my channel it's by ryan blushes i love this oil very hydrating primer by ewa ronke it's also like a pore filling primer like smashbox so if you cannot afford smashbox this is amazing too and then my moisturizer for dry skin I use Embryolis. It's pretty pricey, but it's really good. So if you want to save towards it, this is really nice. My Pond. You guys already know Pond's primer. It's really good. If you cannot afford the expensive mattifying ones, if you get the original one, it's pretty good. So yeah. This is my face spray bag. I've literally gone through. I, need, I never knew I was going to go through everything. But then I take pride in this bag. And you see that it's really loose. It's not that full because I keep adding more. I don't really take out of this bag because everything there is really important to me and they have their use so i only add my pencil pouch this is really cute it's also by unicorn pouches you guys are already you guys this is not sponsored by unicorn pouches by the way i wish it was girl but it's not i just really like it so up next is the random bag bag so this has random things right not so random yeah but it's also by unicorn pouch so this has body oil because i don't want my client or my model to be looking ashy this has my stapler for when i tie gilly this is the stapler i use because sometimes pins is just long journey this has my pins though this is like this disposable thing i got off aliexpress front i deported lipsticks in here i don't have the names of the lipsticks so if you ask me i really don't know what lipsticks are inside i can't remember i did it a while ago but then this thing is amazing the lipsticks don't move they stay that way 
do you get all my nudes and stuff i rarely reach for it but i, I do sometimes and this has like bigger space you can also use for like your stick foundations but this is pretty small i'll show you why i put my stick foundations in here so i got this off aliexpress too this is not from aliexpress so this is american and it's not it's like i think it's like eight ten dollars fifteen i'm not really sure but then i i can try and link it below sha or i'll link their instagram so you can ask them so this has my stick and little pots you know kevin Aquan. it comes in this little pot almost like this this exactly like this actually so i don't have time to be putting these little little things so I, I deported them into this place i also have um slick foundations cream all those cream to powder foundations then i have like four kevin aquans here this is where i put my foundation you can get it off aliexpress very cheap too it's not expensive at all and this is my concealer bag i got it off aliexpress a long time ago i didn't know what to use it for so when i was trying to like rearrange my other makeup bag i decided to put my concealers here so i have conceal these are my liquid concealers from colourpop maybelline zaron la girl concealers i have my liquid liners right so this is my colored liners by nyx and my normal liquid liner the black ones up next is this bag yes i know it looks wretched i have tried to get more order more from where i bought it but they don't make it anymore literally they do not make it anymore i got it off aliexpress and i have checked everywhere i can't find it i uh, it's breaking my heart because i really don't know but then i've been, i've decided to go and give it to opposed tree i'll be opposed tree whatever the person's name is to do do rubber on the body for me basically so ignore this but listen to the functionality or listen to what i use it for that's what's important right now so here i put all my lashes basically stacks and stacks and stacks of lashes i have lashes from this is from mismetics right these are really pretty lashes these are from beam lashes shop purple glamour you guys already know my usual lash person this is from burby beauty she just sent me this and i really like it they're very pretty so yeah this is by beam lashes this is by burby lashes okay this is from b lashes too this is from makeup tools really nice so this has my eye brushes lip brushes basically every single small brush it is a lot right now these brushes are over 30 35 more than that liner brushes lip brushes brow brushes lid brushes detailing brushes lid brushes i just use them for everything then my blending brushes lip concealing this is where i keep my eye brushes basically these are my um um tweezers scissors random stuff like that i hear um, mascara things like that Sha. random stuff like that lip balm gel um, brow gel eyeshadow primers this side i have my beauty blenders is a lot more than this but then we watched like the remaining but i keep them in this mesh stuff because you don't want your beauty blender to have mold on it that or it should be stinking or it's not aired out well gosh that's the worst thing so you always have to put it in a mesh mesh bag i made this tailor you can get it from a tailor or you can just buy mesh purse something like this this purses that have nets buy it from you can buy it from aliexpress i have this eh? it has broken it so that's why it's inside like nylon like this i have to tell you a word this is my flash pan you guys know this flash pan i use it for mostly editorial shoots sure. when i need like body paint stuff like that that's what this one is for so yeah this is this is the bag i use for my brush uh, my brushes i bought this off aliexpress this is how i got my brushes i've already spoken about my brushes from where i bought them i have brushes from all over i have brushes from aliexpress from bh cosmetics from morphe random places to be honest hega and esther i have brushes from anastasia beverly hills I buy my brushes everywhere so guys that's basically how i pack my kit and if you need me to do any more videos about building your kids or random things about being an artist just let me know and you can comment it here um you can send me a dm on instagram i'll be more than willing to 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 record a video for you you may not necessarily be based in nigeria you can be based anywhere but then these are tips and tricks that can work leave a comment and let me know what you think if you appreciate this kind of videos and if you want more of this kind of tips and tricks on how i go about my day to day life as not only a youtuber but actually a practicing artist this is literally my means of livelihood so let me know anything else you would want me to discuss if you want me to have other makeup artists over stay, anything just let me know if you found this helpful don't forget to give this video a thumbs up um 
I just thought I should do this video for my upcoming artists, my professional artists, people that are looking to go into makeup and don't know how to build their kit or where to start from. Just start, start from where you ha start from where you are. Just do it to be honest, because I actually built my kits from my own personal kits, like from my own shade. I said buying maybe a shade lighter, a shade darker, and that's how I started. I didn't go out and say, okay, I want to buy seven foundation or different brands as ones. No, it didn't, it didn't. It didn't start like that, and it didn't. It doesn't work like that. So do and start from where you are. Do you understand? Make use of what you have. If you don't have the person's foundation, you can mix the lighter plus the darkest you have to make to get the middle one just start gradually do you understand you don't need to go out and buy everything it's better for you to start small and then build your way up than to just buy everything and then just like looking for clients or wasting it on shoots and stuff like that even though shoots are not waste i'm not saying your shoots are waste i'm just saying that it's better to use your products on clients than to use them on on shoots right because clients obviously pay you don't go out and invest all your money trying to get um products when you can just do, make use with what and uh, make do with what you have now so if you found this video helpful again please give it a thumbs up subscribe and leave a comment on what other ideas you would like to see i would love to hear from you guys or let me know how you guys pack your kits and what other efficient ways um you use and if it's something that you think i can also adopt i would love to learn from you guys so don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to click the bell beside the subscribe button that way you can get notified when i post the video i love you guys thanks for hanging out with me and yeah kisses <laughs> peace out bye